Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. There's a lot of sharp corners to turn when you're doing all this. But I'm hoping that we've got them all okay so we're not going to have the course play sort of um, going further out than he should. And all we need to do is just bring this one up around to somewhere in front of where the course actually starts so about here I reckon we go to there we'll, we'll stop right there and we'll call that the end of the course so I will stop there I will save that and we'll call that again grain mill sale there grain mill sale right there and I go into here we are doing barley on there that is fine uh, drive course Nearest waypoint. I will start this at the first waypoint. Number of runs to perform on here. We take 45,000, 43,000 liters. Now, this is saying 11 runs. I take that down to 5 runs. 43,000. That would be 215,000 liters of barley would come out of that one. Yeah. Because 11 runs would be a full container. So we take 215. That will leave 110,000 litres left. Which I think that will be about right. That will keep us going for the pigs. We can always sell a bit more next year if we want to. But I reckon if we leave that much for now. Um, that that will sort of keep us going. Um, you know what? No. Let's, let's, go, let's go for six. We'll go for six runs on this. Right. Number of runs perform Six. Like that. That should still be enough for pigs. Because it's not like we're going to be buying pigs just yet. Uh, drive course. Let's see if this actually works this time. Really hoping this does work. Ah. Uh, why have you not loaded at the start? Running around the course is fine. But why did it not load at start? Is it on the wrong mode? Do I need it to be on the other mode, not on this one? That's what I'm thinking, is maybe it needs to be on the other one. Because it, 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 it should have loaded that. Definitely should have loaded that. There's nothing in there. Refill until 100%. Farm silo load barley. I said that correctly. Turn speed, automatic from course, max 83. Speed recording. That's fine. Yeah, and... There's nothing there. I, don't, I mean, covers, it says automatic. I'm wondering if maybe it was the covers that caused a, a, a slight blip or something. I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. All right, let's see if it will do it. It might be that it's got to run the first cause empty. Because I know that some things that they do strange things like this, don't they? Uh, no, but I, I don't think the course play should. I'm going to, I'm just going to sit. I'm going to watch this one. I'm going to bask in the glory of at least getting the truck to drive along the road um, reasonably well. Is he going to be able to get around this corner? And then we'll wait, we'll, we'll wait for it to get back to the yard and we'll just see if he's going to do everything right over there. So he gets here onto the, to the bridge, or he should tip, or he would if he had anything in him, but I don't think he has got anything in him. It might be that I did, no, I don't think I did that bit wrong, because it, it didn't, it wouldn't come up with the eye to say tip, unless it actually had grain in the, the trailer, would it? I don't think it would. It's the bit up the other end, uh, I, I know that I've got the setting on 100%, but it's, it's whether I needed to record, uh, put a pause point in, in the recording. Into the yard all the way around. So at the moment it's saying barley zero of six. And this is what I'm wondering, is whether you say do six runs and it actually will do seven runs, because it'll do the first one without, um, like, it not actually counting it as a run. So it might do that. Now, it's un done that one. Loading zero of 43,000. I bring you under there. Nope. Right. Well, that's obviously not working. That is obviously a broken thing. So, is it that one? 
Tran... It might... I reckon I need to have it on transfer mode. If I put that on transfer mode, will that work? If I go there, if I change... If I actually just select transfer mode using this same course, will that work? I can try it. It is something that I can try. I'll bring you over here somewhere and I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to drive course. Now it's doing that right there. Right, well that didn't work. Stop. Let's back you up here. and Let me try taking that cover off. So it says load to 43,000 litres of grain but maybe maybe i needed to have the end of the course a little bit further on maybe that's what it needed to be i bring you under there look so that you're starting right there and then i go go to that one covers deact let's just deactivate the covers waiting time i'm supposed to have a waiting time or not and drive course yeah you're not doing anything okay so I'll go back over and I'll put it onto this one like that and then current waypoint drive course you're not loading you're supposed to load up you're supposed to load a load of grain into the trailer when I say drive the course. First waypoint. Drive course. No. No. No, 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 no. You're supposed to load up. That's what you're supposed to do. You said before that you would. Loading 043,000. As soon as it gets under the thing, it doesn't load. If I go to here. Start that one loading. And now I go drive course goes off and he does it regardless okay uh i think maybe i need it well no it said uh, load at start transfer doesn't well if we change it over that doesn't seem to work either so i've got one more thing that i'm gonna try i'm gonna i'm gonna delete this course again i'm gonna go onto here and I into here and a uh, grain mill sale right there. I'm going to delete that course completely so it's not here. And I'm going to go to you. I'm going to clear that one out like that. Um, now it doesn't seem to like it. Transfer drive from start to finish. And then you got that one there. Grain transport load at start. It seems to make sense that that would be the one that we want to use, doesn't it? It says so right there on. On, on the front of it grain transport load at start so there's a fair clue that that would be the one that we want to use now my driving has suddenly gotten really bad um <laughs> no no suddenly about it my driving is just bad uh so i will bring that one over to this point here and i will not go on quite so far i'll bring that one all the way back to there maybe maybe i need to be on a bit further Let's, let's try that right there. No, I'll go, I'll go on a bit further. It, I really don't know if I'm supposed to be using that one or that one. I've, I've just tried the transfer and it didn't seem to work. Copy course. If I start, if, if I go with that one, I haven't got any other options though, have I? So we, we've tried it twice with that and it absolutely hasn't worked. So start course recording here. Set unload point. Set crossing point. Set turn maneuver. So I will go forward a bit there and I will set a pause point like that. And then I will continue driving onwards. Uh, wait a minute. Stop that. Clear that one a minute. I'll go back round because I want to load it up. I, if we're going to do this, I, I'm going to be loading it up myself anyway. I want to load it up. So even if I don't do anything else, if I just have the it recording like this, I can at least send the truck off to load up and then come back again. I am 99% certain it's actually that one that we're supposed to be using because this has got the option for the number of runs that you do, whereas this one doesn't. Like, if I was to 
I bring that one in under here. I'm going to start the course recording on there like that. And then I'm going to press pause there. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to load the barley in here. So I'm just going to sit there. Load it all up like that. Uh, what does that one do? Set crossing point. Set unload point. Set weight point. Right. Well, I've set a weight point right here. I let that load up. Like that. Right. That's now full. And then I will continue on. So he should pause right there. And I don't know if it's going to load it manually. But I, I don't actually need it to. Because... I'm wanting to sell this barley myself anyway. I want to do this job anyway. We will... We can have automatic covers, I suppose. That's not going to hurt, is it? Um... Yeah, well, let's... We'll take this one over here. We've got 43,000 litres of barley. I wanted to do four or five runs. So if I'm recording this course, I can at least have the truck going backwards and forwards and doing the sale of the grain without causing me any problems. He, he should just go and do that anyway. And then I can just load it manually myself back at the yard. At least this is what I'm hoping. If I can do it like that, at least we're sort of part way there with it, aren't we? So I, I'm able to just set that one to go. And then when we notice it is back at the yard, we can go and reload it. And then we can press the button and it will go and drive this course once more and go and sell the grain. Now, of course, this is going to be a slightly more difficult bit. It's getting around these corners. So it did seem to do it all right last time. So I don't see that there's going to be any problem. Um, and I've used this course before, this temporary course like this, uh, to unload grain at the yard from when we've been loading in the field. So I know that that does work. And it was this temporary, it was this course here. It's just from point A to point B. And there it's got the unload stuff. So I'm going to unload it myself. Put it in there. And what I'll do is set unload point right there on the course. I don't know if I need to do that, but I'll do it anyway. We'll set that right there so that it will unload the barley. At least I'm hoping it will. I'll allow it to run back down again. Although it won't do that with the recording. It'll just start moving with the thing up in the air, won't it? You come back round there. We got 50,000 euros from selling that one load right there. Which is pretty good rate. That's, that's pretty good going. We got another four loads that we want to sell minimum. Well, that's actually a thing. It would be another five loads, won't we? Uh, S1337 has reached trigger end point. That will be the cultivator in the field here. And who else is going to be filled? Uh, the quad track is still going. He's still got slurry to do. I'll check that one in a minute. Once we get back to the yard, we'll check on the quad track and see how it's doing in field six, in the big field. Uh, because I'm also going to want that one to go and do slurry on the other field beside it. It can use the same load route. That one will work fine with the other field. And then... All we're going to need to do is just uh, set out a new course for it to do the actual slurry spreading. It's not going to need any more than that. I was considering using the cultivator again and doing the this cultivator equipment that we've got right here and having that one do the run in the next field as well. But I don't think I will. I think it would be quicker if we do it another way. Um, although I tell you what, this cornfield beside us this is also going to need that's actually that's going to want plowing that one i need to get the plow going in there so we're going to want to put slurry on that field and then we're going to want to plow it and we got the other field up top so maybe i should put the cultivator going in the top field all right i think i will i'll put the cultivator going in the top field now this one here they bring you all the way around over to this side i bring you to here and this is where the experts with the uh, course play will be crying, weeping uncontrollably at what I've just done because I've gone and used the wrong course. Okay, stop. Right there. So this doesn't give me a number of courses that I can run. I can switch it on to there and it will allow me. So it, it, it seems to be that there is no... I go there and then I get that one and I can choose which grain I use. I can choose the number of runs to perform. But it doesn't seem to work. That's the bit that's confusing to me. It doesn't seem to actually work. It's not loading at start. And that's the bit that is bothersome. If I do you and I go drive course, 
You come up there and then you go to the pause point right there. You stop, but you're not loading. I got continue right there. The Phoenix has reached the waiting point. So I've got that. I've got that as a backup, haven't I? Right, we, we got that right there. So if I go stop driver right there and I will back it up like this. And then we go into settings in here. Speed from recording. No, actually, I want to go there first. I want to go to that one there. Um, so we've got number of runs, six. So how many? Well, it's actually, we want to do five now. We want to do five runs now because I've already done one myself. And then refill to 100%. Barley, that's correct. That there is all how we want it. Uh, advanced settings, I don't want. Mini HUD, no. Right. Uh, covers, I will automatic those again. Was there another one? There was. A, I don't know if there was another setting. Name and course, advanced settings, debug. No, I don't want that. Straight speed is all from recording. There actually there was one. There was there was one thing in particular that I was looking for, which was um, the pause. There was a thing that you could set the length of the pause for, wasn't there? Fuel save. Reversing street speed. Speed turn speed. Oh wait a minute, was that not in here? I'm sure there was an option. Stop at last trigger, drive course. Maybe I need to have it on. No, there wasn't an option there. Advanced settings, name and course. And I go to here from recording street speed. And then I go, oh, waiting time. So let me go there and go back. Yes, it's not actually on here. So I've got that one. Load, unload, offset, horizontal. So that's where the load, unload bit is. But if I had the other one. It's got how long do I wait at a waiting point. But I don't want that. I want it to do this. This is what I'm, I'm sure this is what we want. Drive course. Right. Loading zero. Oh, I think I know why. He started loading there. Look, we got 230 litres. I think the end of the course needs to come out underneath it. Right, so I've got that. If I unload that and load that one up, I'm going to have to do it like this. I can't be bothered to go and set the course out again. Um, but it was closer then, so I think I needed to have the start of the course back a bit in front of this. I needed to have the start of the course just in front of this one, so then it would pull forward and it would load up. Because that's what it looked like it was doing. And then if I go continue, let's close that one over, and then he should go. So I'm going to let that one go now. I'm, I'm going to ignore it. We're going to go over this way. You right here. Oops. I need to stop driver. Right. Uh, go to that. Oh, that one doesn't have a lift. That one's the only one with the lift. So uh, I'll get rid of that a second. And then we'll start up this engine. I've got, I think, a couple little patches on this field that we still need to do. If I have a look over here. Soil composition. We need to put lime on this field. A little bit right... I'm looking through here to see if there is anything that is not fertilised. And it doesn't appear to be. And if I go over here to the cultivated, we, we've got a couple of little bits. It's not worth driving back over those. It's absolutely not worth doing it. So I will clear the current courses like that. Get rid of those completely. So we've got no course loaded right now. I will fold that one up. And I need to bring that one round. And go a little bit faster like that. And we'll go bombing across this field over here. Up into the next one. It's on his way back. We have sold a boatload of um, grain. So it'll, it'll run back, and I reckon it will do the same again. It'll take the cover off, it'll put a tiny little drip in, and then that'll be it. I'll leave that one there. We have got another slight problem with this one. He's gone and got himself wrapped around a tree over here. So I'm going to have to uh, just stop driver a second. Stop driver there. And then bring that one back down here like this and I'm going to go there and 
Just do that a minute so that I can see where he was going. This bit over here is where he was going. So I need to bring you over this way. And put you up onto there like that. And then I want to go to here. And I want to nearest waypoint. Drive course. Phoenix 6x6 aggro truck has reached its point. So that one there will continue onwards. Should be alright, I'm hoping. And we can then go back over to the Phoenix aggro truck. And it's got 100 litres of barley. It's done exactly the same thing again. It kept the cover off. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my start point in the wrong place on this. That's what's going on. As I thought that it would stop and load automatically, but it's not doing that. So I've got to... It's alright, we, we can do it like this. It's just that it's slightly inconvenient, that's all. I've got to stop the driver in order to make this work, because if I press N, it doesn't actually work. So I've got to stop driver and then do that, and then... Do that a minute, and then I can current next closest. I let that all fill up. So obviously that the runs to perform bit that's not going to make any difference. I wonder if I switch it over to that whether it will still run or whether it will still empty the course. So we're gonna we're gonna experiment now. We're gonna run it on that there. It's, it's still saying temporary course at the moment. And I'm just going to drive course from there. So we know that this course is slightly wrong. It's where I loaded it. So there is a bit of an issue there. And if I go to covers, covers should be automatic. It hasn't auto-magically done the covers. But I'll put the cover back on. Hopefully that one will go and tip and sell. We did actually mark it in the, the whole sell point. So... I'm hoping that it will work. Now you, I didn't actually get very far with you because I was busy looking at other things. So we will take you on into the next field. Now we've already got a load point that we can use on this one. There is a load point right there that we'll be able to use. And I'm going to use that same course for loading slurry that I'm using with the, um, the quad track that's running up and down. So that one, I'm, I'm quite happy to use that. Now, if I bring you in here, is it going to hit me or is it going to stop and recognize that there is a danger on the road? Excellent. Okay, I love that it does stop. It's recognized that there's traffic on the road. That's a good thing. I like that. And I will bring you into this field and we will do that. Like that. I bring you out like that, and then I will go like this. I'm going to stick with that there. Start course recording. I don't need to do any course recording or anything like that. What I do need to do is I need to go to course generation. Calculate current field's edge path. We've now got the edge path of the field. This field number is field 7, isn't it? We've got the big field is field 6. This one is field 7. So I want to put you... Field 6. Overwrite field 7's edge path in list. This is field 7, isn't it? Let me uh, get rid of that and just go out here. I'll double check that we have got this right. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we've got 5 over there. And I have had that one as field 6, haven't I? That's, that's definitely field 6. So this is 7 and that's 8. Right. There's no qualms about that. So over right field 7's edge path in list. So I've now got a properly established field 7 on there. And I go into course generation like this. That's saying I've got a working width of 7. Have I actually got a working width of 7 meters on this thing? Let's double check. I don't remember it being 7 meters. That seems that seems a little bit excessive. Go to the garage, and it's you right there. You are seven meters. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll we'll go with that. So, um, what I'm actually going to do is, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. I have to go all the way up now. All right. This uh, oh, right field seven. So, yeah, that, that's fine. Course generation in here, and I will put that at six point nine meters like that, so that we overwrite it. I will skip row one. I will do a headland of four passes on this field. We're going to go clockwise, headland, 
smooth corners turn or round turn radius that uh, rounds the corners with turn radius yeah see uh, this is the bit that i'm always confused about about which one i'm supposed to use uh, uh, we'll try that one currently loaded course field edge path no i want to change out to field seven field seven user current vehicle position starting location that would be fine i'm hoping that will be fine we'll, we'll have that one like that and generate field course some skipping rope there we go generated a field course like that so now i go back i've got that as the start thing right so now what i want to do is i actually want to save this this is field seven isn't it field seven slurry slash cultivate like that enter okay field seven slurry cultivate and then i want to go into manage courses and i've got field six slurry field six temp slurry load what slurry load field six that's the one that i want slurry load field six slurry load one do you want to rename that one i'll have to do that later uh slurry load field six that one there is what i want so i've got those two in together phoenix six by six has reached the waiting point uh, 241,000 euros we've got on there. I changed that over, didn't I? So I don't... Have I, have I sold? I don't know if I have or not. Uh, course play. I'm hoping... It's going to work. Drive course. You're going to start there. Got those two working. Uh, wait a minute. Stop driver. One mistake that I've made on that is I started at nearest waypoint. I need to start that particular course at the first waypoint. So I'll bring it over to here like this. And then I'll go drive course. So he'll take it over to the first waypoint and he should go out to the edge of the field. Because I had it on the nearest waypoint. What it did was it went out to the edge of the field where it shouldn't have done. I went in from the edge of the field where it shouldn't have done. But it's curved in from the field there, which I don't like. So it's missed a little bit right on the edge. Sure about that. Right, anyway, that one is going fine there. I've got a horrible feeling that that Phoenix hasn't actually gone and emptied itself out. That one, has that done around the edge looks like it has done around the edge of the island let's go and check around the edge of this island a minute uh, have you done yes you have done just fine around the edge little tiny bit over there but that's negligible so it doesn't really matter uh you are all tickety boo and wonderful you in here you've still got forty-three thousand liters so the temporary course one is definitely wrong we definitely don't want to be using that one at all we do want to be using, I want to stop driver in there, and we do want to be using that one. But I've obviously got the start of the course set in the wrong place. So next closest waypoint for that one, and I drive course, starts up, and he's going to go and empty out. So once he's done, once I've sold a couple more loads of that one, that one should be absolutely fine. You over here, you've got a little ways to go yet. It seems you've done all right with the rest of it. It was only a little, so a bit sort of at the start of it that it didn't like. You're fine. You, I can, le I can trust you to keep going as you are. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that. If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.